ni kwenye Tanzania ajali eneo la migai iliyofanyika usiku wa kwamkia leo na kuwaua watu 36 na endeleza msururu wa mikosi barabarani hususan maeneo yanayokaribiana na Sachangwan na Salga kwenye barabara ya Nakuru Eldoret mikakati ya kupunguza ajali nayo ikionekana kufeli sasa NTSA imerejelea hatua ya kupiga marufuku safari za usiku kwa magari ya umma hata hivyo maswali yameibuka kuwa huenda chanzo cha ajali hapo kinazidi mtazamo wa kawaida makna maswa na taarifa hiyo kuhusu mikosi ya Salga. Sehemu ya barabara inayokaribiana na Salga na Sachangwan huwa na utulivu wa kupumbaza. Miti, majani na vilima vikitoa mandhari shwari kwa wasafiri. Lakini kisa cha alfajiri ya leo eneo la miga ambapo watu wasiopungua 36 wameaga dunia kimedhihirisha hatari ya barabara hii. Unfortunately we have lost a big number of uh, lives as, as again um, where at least um, 30 people have perished mamlaka ya usalama usafiri barabarani NTSA imetangaza marufuku ya usafiri wa usiku kwa magari ya umma masafa marefu kati ya saa moja usiku na saa 12 asubuhi mara ya mwisho walitoa agizo kama hilo ilikuwa disemba 2013 lakini ikasimamishwa kwa magari ya umma 338 yaliyopewa vibali maalum Juni 2014 Historia ya matukio hapa ni kama kupita bonde la uvuli wa mauti Mojawapo ya taarifa za mkosi hapa imehusisha enzi za ukoloni Kanali Richard Maina Zagen aliyemua Orkoyot Koitalel Arab Samoei He came back to apologize and on his coming he brought some money for compensation or for just asking for forgiveness from the Talai clan but unfortunately this man did not reach where it was supposed to reach hata hivyo machifu hao mmoja kwa jina la Malel wa pili Jonathan na mwenzao kwa jina la Elijah walijitokeza kama wapatanishi kwenye hafla jijini Kisumu lakini hela hizo zikatokomea Chief Elijah and his colleagues they took this money and the chief bought his car and on the particular day he removed the what we call sambut that is a special wearing cloth for old people who are respected Walisemekana kununua gari aina ya Chevrolet nao wazee wa jamii wakiwalaani On the same particular day when he uttered this words on the way as they were going to Nairobi reaching such a man there was another beetle uh, Volkswagen beetle driven by a uh, Amzum and they they had an, a, a head on collision they collided but unfortunately and something so funny is that the three chiefs died on the spot but the woman did not die Huo ukasemekana kuwa mojawapo ya mwanzo wa mikosi hapa sababu zingine zikiwa kutozingatia kanuni za barabarani in the name of the father hafla yes. za maombi zimefanywa lakini zimwi la ajali Linazidi kumeza wa Kenya kila uchao. Huku ajali moja ikiripotiwa kila wiki sehemu hii ya barabara ya Nairobi na Kuru Eldoret wakati eneo hili likijulikana kuwa na idadi kubwa zaidi ya maafisa wa trafiki na wale wa NTSA kwenye barabara kote nchini. Even if it means regulating the time of movement we are likely to do that and to enforce it such that vehicles move only during the day public service vehicles particularly i've talked with the Malel family i've talked with, the, with, 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 with elijah i have also talked with the son of arab Manye who has accepted they are, he has said if these three people are ready we are ready to go and pray for them and this case will, 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 will be lifted Huku manusura wakiendelea kupokea matibabu, mbunge wa mwingi ya kati Gideon Muliungi ametishia kuandaa mswada utakaofutilia mbali NTSA kwa msingi kuwa wameshindwa kutekeleza wajibu wao kikamilifu. Mark na Maswa, KTN News.